Hello everybody, in this video I am going to give an update on my portfolio. Right now my portfolio is worth $114,543.45. In the past year I am up $39,682.97. Year to date for the year 2024 I am up $22,368.69. Right now it's Sunday night, but it says that I'm up $672.76. Of course, this is counting after hours right now as well. Um, I didn't make a video on Friday, so that's why I'm making one now, but things have been going pretty well so far. If we round up, then my portfolio is around 115k right now, the highest it's been this year, so very happy about that. Let's go over my positions. For my options, I'm selling Amazon $185 covered calls. These expire October 18. My total return, I am down $24. I have Amazon $140, $130 put credit spreads. These expire October 18. My total return, $38. I have Amazon $200, $210 call credit spreads. These expire October 18. My total return, $64. I'm selling Delta Airlines $49 call credit spreads. Sorry, Delta Airlines $49 covered calls. These expire October 18. My total return, $84. I'm selling Disney $95 covered calls. These expire October 18th. My total return $970.02. I'm selling SoFi $8 covered calls. These expire October 18. My total return I am down $4,544. I'm selling Target $150 covered calls. These expire October 18. My total return, I am down $273. I have Verizon $35, $33 put credit spreads. These expire December 20th. My total return, $1,153. I have Verizon $47, $49 call credit spreads. These expire December 20th. My total return, I am down $550. I have Disney $70 calls. These expire December 19th, 2025. My total return, $2,976. For my stocks, I have 300 shares of Amazon. Amazon is at $188.79. My average cost, $185.26. My total return, $1,059.52. I have 6,400 shares of SoFi. SoFi is at $9.14. My average cost, $5.71. My total return, $21,956.48. I have 400 shares of Disney. Disney is at $94.12. My average cost, $67.50. My total return, $10,648. I have 100 shares of Target. Target is at $158.69. My average cost, $154.50. My total return, $418.51. I have 400 shares of Delta Airlines. Delta Airlines is at $51.68. My average cost, $50.73. My total return, $380.04. This is a margin account. My margin total is $103,678.51. My margin used is $77,398.70. My options collateral is $12,000.
This leaves me with $14,279.81 in buying power. My margin status is low risk. My buffer is $42,270.41. This is how much money I can lose before I get margin called. My annual interest rate is 6.05%. The daily interest I'm paying is $12.79. And I'm borrowing $1,000 of margin interest free. So in my notifications, you can see options expiring soon. You have Amazon, Delta Airlines, and three other options expiring this week. So the end of this week, 1018, I have a bunch of options positions expiring. So let me go through them. First off, we have my Amazon $185 covered calls. Amazon is at 188, so it's above 185. If it stays above 185 at expiration, then I'll get my shares of Amazon called away and I'll end up making a profit overall. My Amazon Iron Condor, I want it to stay between 140 and 200. As I said before, Amazon is at 188, so it is between that range. Um, maybe there's a risk of it going above 200 by the end of the week, but we'll see what happens. But for now, it is in in between the range of 140 to 200 um, in order for me to get max profit at expiration. So we'll see what happens at the end of the week. Delta Airlines, $49 covered call. Right now, Delta Airlines is above $49. It's at $51.68. And if it stays above $49 at expiration, then my shares of Delta Airlines will get called away and I'll end up making some profit from my covered calls. Disney, $95 covered calls. Right now, it's slightly below $95. It's at $94.12. So if it stays below $95 at expiration, then I'll keep my shares of Disney. And I'll make some money from the selling the covered calls. SoFi, $8 covered call. Now, this one is really... I, I didn't want SoFi to go up that much because I'm losing out on money uh, the higher it goes, you know, but it is what it is. So right now, SoFi is at $9.14. Now, if it stays this way at expiration, then I'll get my shares of SoFi called away. I'll end up making some money, but honestly, I do want to keep my share. So if it does stay up this high at expiration, I'm going to roll it out to a further expiration date and probably further uh, higher strike price as well. Target, $150 covered call. Right now, Target is above $150. It's at $158. Same thing here, because it went up to $158, I'm kind of losing out on some money. However, I still make some money overall, just not as much as I would have had I uh, not done the covered call at all, but it is what it is. So I'll still end up making some money overall from that, but actually, you know what? My average credit was 645 and my average price that I bought um, Target at was 154. So you know what? I'm okay with this. The, the fact that it's at 158, I end up making a small profit, but you know, I I'm happy with that small profit. It's fine. And that's pretty much it for the ones expiring on the 18th. So from here until then, we'll see what happens. Today's the 13th, so about five more days until expiration. I'll keep on making more videos like this just to give an update on, you know, where they're at. But right now, I'm mostly okay with my positions. The only thing is the, the SoFi $8 covered calls. I, I lost out on a lot of money because I did that, but um, we'll see what happens. Who knows? Maybe SoFi will go down between now and uh, Friday, or it'll go to like $10 or something. I don't know. We'll, we'll see. Anyways, that's pretty much it for this portfolio update. If you guys like this type of content, please make sure to like and subscribe, and I'll keep on making more of these videos. Thank you so much for watching and I'll see you guys next time. Bye.